Hi, welcome to this demo of Spectrum Protect Plus server and vSnap tiles in the IBM Cloud Catalog. Back in 2018, we introduced a service that offers an all on cloud installation and automatic deployment of the Spectrum Protect Plus server and vSnap into either new or existing VMware instances in the IBM Cloud. And this service offered pre-selected data stores and tiers of performance, and you could size your vSnap up to 120 terabytes. It is a bring your own SPP license, or you could purchase it in Portal. And if you check it out, I've got some YouTubes out there on that service. But what we're announcing now is the Spectrum Protect Plus server and vSnap tiles are available in the IBM Cloud Catalog. And when you choose these tiles, it is gonna download the OVA for the Spectrum Protect Plus server and or the Spectrum Protect Plus vSnap. And then you will manually install the Spectrum Protect Plus server and or vSnaps following the normal deployment guide. This enables you to install either as an all on cloud or as a hybrid in the IBM cloud. You can choose whatever data store sizes and speeds you want to utilize in conjunction with the installations. You can install more than one vSnap. In fact, you could use this to install a vSnap if you already had the IBM cloud for VMware solutions service up and running and wanted another vSnap. The installation of the Spectrum Protect Plus server OVA automatically installs a 30-day trial license. You could use this for a proof of concept, and then you'll manually activate your own license, one you've probably purchased from Passport Advantage. Now, the requirements for this are going to be a VCS, which is a VMware vCenter dedicated server. And because it's single tenant, it provides higher levels of security than a shared server. And then you also will have to have a paid Kubernetes cluster, which we utilize to copy the OVAs and for billing. The downloaded Spectrum Protect Plus server OVA will extract automatically into one OVF and four VDMKs, and the SPP vSnap will extract into one OVF and three VMDKs. You will then use these to do the installation following the normal deployment guide. So in this demo, I'll first show you our original service offering, just so you know where that's at, and then I'll switch gears and show you the new tiles and how to use them to download the OVAs and to eventually do the manual installation of the Spectrum Protect Plus server and or vSnaps. So let's get going. An easy way to find IBM Cloud is to do a Google search on IBM Cloud and then click on the cloud result. This will take us to cloud.ibm.com slash login. We'll log in with our IBM ID and password. This takes us to the dashboard. If you go to the navigation menu in the top left and then scroll down to VMware overview, this takes you to the IBM Cloud for VMware Solutions page. If you scroll down, you'll see the add-on services section, and then you'll see the business continuity and migration services. And listed there is IBM Spectrum Protect Plus. If you click on that, it invokes a service to do an automatic installation and configuration of an all on cloud Spectrum Protect Plus server and vSnap. And this will be automatically provisioned and deployed. And then you as an administrator would simply log on and take over control and usage of the Spectrum Protect Plus server. This service is still available, but what I want to focus on in this demo are the new tiles in the catalog. So from the dashboard, we want to go to the catalog and then go into software. And then from software, if you scroll down and look for the Spectrum Protect Plus server or vSnap tiles, or you can enter the plus into the search and find the Spectrum Protect Plus server vSnap tiles that way. Clicking on the server tile will walk you through downloading the OVA images required to manually install the Spectrum Protect Plus server. And likewise, clicking on the vSnap tile will walk you through downloading the OVA images to manually install Spectrum Protect Plus vSnap. 
So let's start with the Spectrum Protect Plus server. Go ahead and click on that tile. First, notice the links to the docs. This will be the Spectrum Protect Plus documentation. Then notice the link to help. This will assist you opening up a help ticket. And then notice if you click on the README tab, that will bring up the README information for this Spectrum Protect Plus server installation. This is where it talks about an all on cloud install, which would include both your Spectrum Protect Plus server and vSnap being installed in your VMware vCenter versus a hybrid cloud, which is just the install of a vSnap with the Spectrum Protect Plus server being in a different location. Since you are manually installing the OVAs that are downloaded with these tiles, you decide which configuration you want to do an install of. To download the Spectrum Protect Plus server OVA, first of all, you need a dedicated VCS vCenter. Next, you will choose which OVA image you want to install. Currently, we only have one Spectrum Protect Plus version to choose from. In the future, we will have multiple versions to choose from. Next, you have to have a paid Kubernetes cluster available. IBM Cloud Provisioning will copy the OVAs through the Kubernetes, and it'll also use it for billing. If there is not Kubernetes installed, you will not be able to select this, and you will not be able to do the Spectrum Protect Plus install. If you have more than one, you'll be able to choose which VMware vCenter server to utilize. This does have to be a VCS vCenter dedicated server. We do not support a VMware shared server. And this has to do with security because the dedicated server is single tenant and thus has a higher level of security. So we're going to use the vcs-sp-dev server. And this is my vCenter cluster that's located in Milan. We'll need a vCenter server user ID for this server that has the privileges to do things like install applications and use the Kubernetes. Let's go out to that vCenter server. So once we're in the IBM Cloud, we want to go to Resources. And at the Resources, you'll see that vcs-sp-dev server instance. So if we click on that server instance, that'll give us the details about it. And the most important thing we're going to need for the download of these OVFs is the admin ID and password. First, let's copy the admin ID. We'll paste that into the vCenter server user ID on this page where we're doing the Spectrum Protect Plus server OVA download. Next, we need the vCenter server password. We are not using a existing secret, so we need to go ahead and turn that off. And then we'll go back and copy the password from that vCenter server and paste that into the password field. Now it's going to connect to the vCenter using the provided user ID and password. And it'll show a list of the data stores, which are the VMware disk and LUNs, where the OVA will be downloaded and unzipped into. This is not going to be used for the vSnap pool or storage. That storage is manually configured by you during the manual OVA install. From the drop down, you can see the different data stores that we configured when we provisioned the VMware system. And we're going to go ahead, in this case, and choose data store one. Now we're going to configure the schematics workspace. And this will include only the logs related to this tile. So for example, you can track there the OVA download, the connection to the vCenter, and so forth. So we'll call it spp-install-todays date. We then need to choose a resource group. And we can optionally enter a tag. So in our case, we're going to enter a tag of Spectrum Protect Plus. On the right hand side, we need to click to agree to the license agreement. And then we want to click install. Once the install starts, it's going to automatically take you to the schematic server. Here in this schematics workspace, you can see that we're downloading and extracting those OVA files. 
If you want more details, you can click on the View Log button on the right-hand side. And once the download and extraction is finalized, you'll see this workspace created message. Okay, so we've downloaded the Spectrum Protect Plus server OVAs, and the Spectrum Protect Plus vSnap OVAs are a separate download. So if you go and you search on that vSnap, you'll see that tile here, and you can click on that. The download process for the vSnap OVA is basically the same as the server. You'll choose your VMware vCenter server. You'll choose an OVA image. Currently, we only have 10.1.8, but as there's new releases out there, we'll have more selections. You need to have your Kubernetes cluster. You'll choose your vCenter server, and then you'll need to enter your vCenter server administrator ID, so you can copy that across. After you copy and paste that, you'll then need to also copy your administrator password and paste that in. It will use these credentials to load a list of the data stores that you have out there. This data store will be used to store the download of the vSnap OVA. We're going to choose the workload underscore share underscore SB6BF data store. Next, give your schematics workspace a name. We're going to call it vSnap-install and then today's date. You'll want to choose a resource group, and then you can add optionally tags. We're going to say Spectrum Protect Plus vSnap. Go ahead and accept the licensing terms, and then click Install. And this will take you over once again to the schematics workspace. And from there, you would be able to monitor the download and extraction of the vSnap OVAs. We can see these downloaded files if we log into the VMware vSphere server. You will need to utilize your VPN. So use that same admin ID and password that you used for the downloading of the OVAs and log in. If you click on the storage icon, you will see underneath your Milan data center the data stores. And these are the same data stores we selected from when you downloaded your OVAs. And if we look at this data store one, where we downloaded our Spectrum Protect Plus server OVAs, and if you click on files, and then you go into the content lib, which is a directory that we create, and then drill down into the subdirectory. And here you'll see the OVFs and the VMDKs that we extracted from the OVA file that we downloaded for the Spectrum Protect Plus server. You will have four VMDK files and one OVF. If you look in the workload share SB6BF directory, we can see the Spectrum Protect Plus vSnap OVA downloads, which have been extracted into the content lib and then the subdirectory, and then into three VMDK files and one OVF file. So at this point, you can follow the regular old Spectrum Protect Plus deployment guide to deploy these Spectrum Protect Plus servers and vSnaps. And when you follow it, basically it's going to have you right click on the cluster and then click on new virtual machine and then deploy from template. And it'll walk you through the steps to go through and actually deploy your Spectrum Protect Plus server and vSnap. And then once you've actually gone through and done the deployment of these Spectrum Protect Plus servers and vSnaps, you'll go back into your vSphere client. And if you expand the cluster, you'll see your new Spectrum Protect Plus server, in this case, version 10.1.8. And then you can copy over the IP address so that you can access that Spectrum Protect Plus server to configure it and set it up. And once again, you would be following the deployment guide on the first time logon and how to define the vSnaps, how to set up SLAs, and other things you need to do to get your Spectrum Protect Plus server up and running. 
So in conclusion, I've shown you the new Spectrum Protect Plus 1018 server in vSnap tiles in the IBM Cloud Catalog and how you can download them and then do manual installations of the Spectrum Protect Plus server and or vSnap. Thank you very much.